Welcome back Intuitive Minds. In this video, we're going to learn how to convert any terminating decimal into a fraction. A terminating decimal is just any decimal that comes to an end, for example 0.5 or 0.12, so it doesn't carry on forever. So how do we convert any terminating decimal into a fraction? Well step 1, we count the number of digits after the decimal point, remove the decimal and just use the whole number. So for example, if we take the decimal 0.5, count the number of digits after the point, so there's only one digit after the point. By removing the decimal and using the whole number, we just have 5. Let's look at another example, 0.25. We notice that there are two digits after the decimal point. We remove the decimal and just use the whole number, so we just have 25. What about if we had 0.123? We notice there are three digits after the decimal. Remove the decimal and just use the whole number, so we have 123 or 123. Then step 2, we put the whole number over 10 if we have one digit, 100 if we have two digits, and 1000 if we have three digits, and so on. So for instance, 0.5 equals 5 over 10, because we had one digit after the decimal. With 0.25, we have two digits after the decimal, so it becomes 25 over 100. And likewise, with 0.123, we have three digits after the decimal point, so it becomes 123 over 1000. Let's take a look at a few more examples. But before we do, if you want to learn how to do any times table in one minute or less, then click on this link below and then you'll be able to master any times table you want. Now back to the video. Say for instance we have the decimal 0 0.0113. We notice that there are four digits after the decimal point and just using the whole number part, we just have 113. And because there are four digits, that means we need to divide by 10,000 because there are four zeros. Four digits represents four zeros. Another example, 12.3. We notice there is one digit after the decimal point. So we remove the decimal, so we have 123 and we divide by 10. The one zero representing the one digit after the decimal point. Another example, 3.142. We notice there are three digits after the decimal point, so we know we have to divide by a thousand. Removing the decimal, we have 3142 over 1000. Let's take a look at one more example, 52.25. Since there are two digits after the decimal point, this means there needs to be two zeros in our denominator, so it will be 100. Removing the decimal point, we have 5225 over 100. And that's how easy it is. Let me know how well you got on in the comments below. I hope you found this helpful. Smash the like button. Share with anyone who you think this might benefit. Do subscribe and click the notification bell for more tips like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.